I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? La Toria greets you. It was a minor miscalculation. I've Thinking that this is funny, do you? This one does not think so. La Toria is wallowing, so leave her be. La Toria tries and she tries, but she cannot grasp the magic in the way that the college teaches. So La Toria leaves the college to seek knowledge on her own. But the sources of ancient magic in Skyrim are in dangerous places. For La Toria to learn, she must commune with these ancient sources, rather than reading about them in books. But as La Toria says, the places, they are dangerous, and she fears no good would come on her own. And so she wallows. Ancient Nordic tombs, ruins of the Dwemer, the lost places of the Falmer, all offer sources of ancient magic yet to be discovered. You know other way La Toria can safely commune with the ancient magics? Without La Toria coming to harm? What way is this? This guild, you are making it? Oh, La Toria would be so very happy to join and help if she could safely study the secrets of these ruins. Most exciting she thinks this would be. Thank you, Gale Master. La Toria will not let you down. What can La Toria do for you, Gale Master? Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. How's your day? Hello. Oh. Yes, I have been known to locate things from time to time. Orion is a good customer. Do you know him? Oh, and he mentioned me by name. Interesting. I have entertained the idea of running my own shop from time to time. Being part of a guild would reduce my overhead considerably. I must, however, be able to sell to the public. Then it seems we have a deal. I assume there's a guild house? Or are we just going to sleep in the museum basement? I'll see you there then, Guildmaster. I'm just not content in my work, I guess. I'm just tired of digging for ore. Just wish I could dig for something more worthwhile and interesting. Oh? How's that? Seriously? That sounds fantastic! Count me in! Stupid dog. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. I have things to study. What is it? What time is it? I haven't seen the 
sky all day. Me? No, why do you ask? Only because I'm here with one of the foremost experts on the subject in a massive Wimmer ruin. Next season for sure. Why would you think that? Oh wait, yes, actually I'm very interested in the Dwemer, that's right. Why do you ask? Oh really? Nothing good, I hope. I, I mean, nothing bad, I hope. just think you won't need Nonsense. You're a vital part of my research team. You'll be there and no fear. Now, oh really? What sort of guilt? Hmm, that does sound tempting. I'm sure I could offer a tidbit of knowledge or two about the Dwemer, and it would be nice to see more up close again. I think I'll give it a go, Guildmaster. Thanks for the invite. Here to see the yard. No sudden moves. Day. Well, yes. Who wants to know? Oh, yes. That old bookworm up to his old games again. <laughs> well, what does old Orion have to say? He still has the relic hunter job to fill? Well, go on then. I'm listening. Well, that all sounds fine and dandy, but what makes Orion think I want to be involved? Oh, come on now. I didn't say I wasn't interested. Just having a bit of fun with you. And what's wrong with my appearance? I am a field, archeo field archaeologist, after all. I spent most of my time in caves and ruins digging in the dirt. Orion has to get all gussied up to deal with bureaucrats and fancily dressed merchants. I don't have to deal with those concerns, so why bother putting on airs? But yes, I am very interested. It would be nice to work with Orion again. It's been about 30 years or so. Dear me, time flies when you are a mer. Thanks for coming and finding me. I look forward to working with you in the future, my friend. I'll head to the museum and pay Orion a visit. You take care now. Greetings, Guildmaster. Goodbye, Guildmaster.